Mission to Mars. What do an ancient god and a planet have in common? Thousands of years ago, the ancient Romans noticed a bright object in the sky. It had a reddish color and they decided to call it Mars. This was because its red color reminded them of blood and their own god of war. In 1969, Neil Armstrong famously made one giant leap for mankind. He became the first human to walk on the moon. What will be the next giant leap in space exploration? Well, it could be for humans to land on Mars. How much do you know about the red planet? Mars is the seventh largest planet in our solar system. Its atmosphere is mainly made of carbon dioxide and small quantities of water vapor. It has two moons, Phobos and Deimos, and it is home to the tallest mountain in the solar system. This mountain is called Olympus Mons and it is a volcano. It is about three times higher than Mount Everest. Mars got its famous nickname, the Red Planet, because of its rusty red color. This is caused by the iron-rich soil that covers its surface. But why are scientists so interested in exploring Mars? First, it is next door to us in the solar system. It is actually the fourth planet from the Sun. Second, it has features that are closer to Earth than any other planet. This means that exploring it could teach us a lot about our history and future. Did you know that Mars has got seasons too, just like Earth, but it has got an average temperature of minus 63 degrees? So it wouldn't be your ideal summer holiday destination. Scientists are also fascinated by the planet's surface. Mars has got a desert-like surface that looks like parts of Earth. There's also some water on it too, although most of it is underground ice. But as scientists say, where there is water, there could be life. Since 1976, various unmanned spacecraft have landed on Mars. Today, NASA has two rovers on the planet, Opportunity and Curiosity. These rovers are robots. Their job is to travel around and send information back to Earth. NASA plans to send the first manned spacecraft there in the next 20 years. But first, they have to make sure that astronauts can be safe on Mars. But is it just NASA that's interested in exploring Mars? Mars One is an independent Dutch organization made up of scientists and other professionals. Their project is very ambitious. They are planning to build a colony there. They have asked people to send in applications to be the first space colonists. A group of 24 has already been chosen to train for the first mission. And that's not all. They also want to build a power plant there and grow food using massive greenhouses. After all, astronauts can get hungry too, right? This way they wouldn't need to travel back to Earth to make a tasty salad. So what do you think? Years ago, we wondered whether there was life on Mars. But could the first Martians actually be human? <laughs> <laughs>